Get over here, I missed yes. you. It's been a while. Yes, it has been a while. You're not gonna stab me in the back, right? With what? Chris, I don't my know. sand. You're get over cutest. here. Get over here. <laughs> We are back here in this warehouse, but in spite of that, we have the entire cast now showing up here. Isn't this awesome? So one of the awesome things that we are filming this week is the um, is the uh, is the entire cast. They are filming a huge scene in Eden's living room. It's it's fan it's fantastic. Yes, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be great. And oh, yep, there's they're still going play. Okay, yep, just watch the video. Lots of cool stuff. I don't know what I did. All right, so here we have this pretty funny scene where Simon and Eden want it quiet, but they got some house guests who are a little bit noisy. Now, a lot of times you have funny scenes like this and you hear voices off camera, but what you never get to see, and now you actually do get to see, is the off camera performance. Action. Z, give me the pillow, please. It's my pillow. No, it's mine. It's my pillow. They're all red, I know, but it's, this is one is mine. No, do, do, I take my pillow take clean. I don't need it. I can Thank sleep on the you. Take it. Thank you. Take it. Stay in their room quietly. We're quiet now. Sorry. A lot of the scenes that take place in that living room, they're just going through one after the other after the other. It's just like batch shooting. And one of those scenes happened to be a huge scene with every single disciple in Simon's tiny living room. And something I never thought about before is just how long and how much work it takes to put that together. Today we're shooting just one scene. One scene an entire day? Actually more, we're gonna be shooting this scene for one and a half days. But it's an 11 page scene, including Jesus and all the disciples. It's gonna have a lot of coverage, it's gonna have a lot of great angles, and we're looking forward to start shooting in a little bit. Now, it's time to light. That crane behind me, all that work to get daylight coming through the windows in Utah already got to see the disciples going out two by two. But today here in Texas, here in this warehouse, we're filming Jesus commissioning the disciples and sending them out two by two. And since this is a scene involving all of the disciples, of course, we get to speak to a few. We got to see this really cool scene. You met Jesus for like two seconds. Like what inspires you so much about Jesus that you're willing to renounce all of that and follow? Judas realizes that's where his true calling is. He took up the business mostly because of financial issues, as you know, he's an orphan. He's an orphan and a poet. I told you not to call me that. Losing both of his parents, he had to step up. So I think he took on this job, he used his natural intelligence to work as a businessman, to make these shares, to make all of this financial gain. But when he finally found his heart's desire, this spiritual calling that he's been waiting for all of his life, something grander to be a part of, he immediately realizes all this material earnings, this surface value worth of his life is meaningless. There has to be more to life than that. So the moment he sees Jesus, the moment he gets that like spiritual awakening, he's like, none of this matters. Only awesome. he matters and what he's, what he has to teach me. Big James and little James. Are you excited about being James Squared, going out with little James? I am, I am, definitely. I, Jordan and I had been talking about it as soon as we found out. And I think that there's going to be some good opportunities there, but also, you know, to separate the, the brother's thunder is, is going to be important to, to see how we assert ourselves when we're not as a duo. You've been with them for all of five minutes. Oh yeah. And now you're getting sent out without Jesus two by two. Honestly, I think he's a bit terrified. He feels underprepared, but he's very determined to take up the challenge, which is so funny because that's kind of how I feel, especially with the rest of the cast. I'm like, put me in coach. Yeah, and I'm having doubts or he's having doubts. We check in with each other. When your brother leaves to college or you leave to college, you got to leave the nest behind. Yeah. And you got to make choices for yourself. It's going to be really cool to see how well-meaning he is how genuinely hard he's trying to do the right thing by everybody. Like he's not the guy with the ul ulterior motive. You might think with hindsight, of course he talks about money and he does all the business things. I hope that when they actually see the scenes, it's well-meaning and we'll just see how he gets lost in the way. There's gonna be some stuff that I'm so excited to act in, but I can't talk about it. Uh, I, I, I. Dang. When I read it on the page, I was like, okay, how, how are we going to do this, you know? I'm excited to deliver some stuff that is also going to test me as an actor and, and kind of as I, as I try and uh, portray Big James with, 
verisimility that I've been looking for. Nice. That's a $12 word. That, that is a $12. I got to go look it up, actually. I think that leaves us wanting more. Thank you so much. Always leave them wanting more. Well, it's Groundhog's Day. So what we were working on yesterday, we are still working on today. Welcome, welcome to another day. Not just another day, the day that we're completing one of the most amazing scenes here in the Chosen. Come with me. Look what it takes to, to shoot a single shot. So where Sarah is sitting right now, it's Simon's position. And so we're shooting the close-up of Simon. We have this light and this light and this bounce and the other bounce in order for every shot to look perfect. And that's what we're doing here, creating one of the most beautiful shots of The Chosen in one of the most beautiful scenes, I believe, in season three. So we have just spent a day and a half filming all of the disciples in Simon's living room being sent out two by two. The fun thing about not filming in order is now today, we're putting all of the disciples back in that room. So same amount of work, getting all the different angles, all the disciples around the table, but sharing their stories of having already gone out two by two. The thing to keep in mind is these two scenes were shot back to back over a period of three days, all day, every day, all the disciples in this room. And seriously, it only just got hotter and hotter. So the day we finally wrapped on those scenes, it was exciting. Okay, good night to first scene. Yeah! So this has been our first week back to Texas, and next week we're gonna be talking to Eden, Zebedee, and maybe a few others. It's gonna be fun. So hit that subscribe button and hit that bell by the subscribe button so you're notified when that video drops.